Hello everyone, we'll be starting with some important questions for term 2 and in this video I will be covering some questions for section A only. So first question se dekhte hain yaha pe kya diya hua hai. If 4 times the 4th term of an AP is equal to 18 times the 18th term, then find the 22nd term. Hame 22nd term nikalni hai aur usse pehle hame ek relation diya hua hai ki 4 times the 4th term. 4 into 4th term kya hua? A4 is equal to 18 into a18 क्योंकि 18th term में उन्होंने लिखा हुआ है। Then you have a4 a4 क्या है आपका? You can write it as a plus 3d क्योंकि an का formula हमारा क्या होता है? a plus n minus 1d Then 18 as it is a18 का formula क्या होगा? a plus 17d Then you can multiply 4 with a it will give you 4a 4 with 3 it will give you 12d 18 with a then 18 into 17 will give you 306d now what you can do is you can take a term to the left side and d term to the right side. So it will be 4a minus 18a. Then you have 360d minus 12d. So 4a minus 18 will give you minus 14a. 306 minus 12 will give you 4 and 294d. Then you can cancel 14 and 294 and you can take for minus 14a to the right side. 14 ko pehle reduce kar le 294 se. So if you divide 294 and 14, you will get 21. This will be 1. This will be 21. So it is minus a equals 21 d. Minus a ko right side le jo. It will give you 0 on the left side. A on the right side, 21 d. So a plus 21 kya hota hai basically? It is equal to a 22. A 22 is equal to a plus 21 d. Is ka matlab kya hua? 22nd term aapki kya hoge? zero so yes this is the answer for the first one now moving to the second one let's start with the second question it says from a point on the ground 20 meter away from the foot of a vertical tar the angle of elevation of the top of the tar is 60 degree find the height of the tar so this is very easy they are saying ki ek point hai ground pe and it is 20 meter away from the foot of the vertical tar this is your tower let's say the height of the tar is h and then they are saying ki angle of elevation kya create ho ra? 60 degree. Then we have to find the value of the height of the tar. So how will you do this one? You have to find with respect to this and this value which is base. Base or perpendicular ka relation kya hota aapka? It is tan. So tan equals tan 60 degree equals h over 20 that is perpendicular over base and tan 60 is root 3 h as it is 20 as it is and you can take 20 to the left side it will be 20 root 3 is equal to h it is in centimeter right so yes height of the tar is 20 root 3 meter so now moving to the third one Let's start with the third question. It says in figure O is the center of a circle. PQ is a quad. PT is tangent at P which makes an angle of 50 degree with PQ. Find the angle POQ. So now we have to POQ find karna hai pe. This is the main angle we have to find. But we can easily find this angle first of all which is OPQ. OPQ how can we get out of it? Because if you look at TP is a tangent. This is tangent. This is radius. So this will form 90 degree. The angle between tangent and radius is equal to 90 degree. So basically my angle TPO is 90. But I can see that it is divided into two parts. Which is TPQ plus QPO. TPO ki value kitni hai 90. TPQ ki value kitni hai aapki 50 degree. QPO is x let's say. And this will give you 90 minus 50 equals x. And 90 minus 50 is equal to 40. So basically x value is 40 degree. Now what I can see is we have to find this angle. But we can easily find the value of this. How? Because this is the radius we have. OP is the radius. OQ is the radius. So we know ki in our equilateral triangle the base angles are equal. So angle P or you can say angle QPO is equal to OQP which is equal to 40 degree. Now you have to do the next step which is to find POQ. 
so you can take triangle pqo and in it you have two angles as 40 and 40 and the third angle is unknown which is poq it is equal to 180 angle sum property now you can see that 40 plus 40 will give you 80 and you can take it to the right side so it will be 180 minus 80 is equal to 100 degree so yes this is your answer for third one now moving to the fourth question of it let's start with question number four it says solid piece of iron in the form of a cuboid of design 49 centimeter 33 centimeter and 24 centimeter is molded to form a solid sphere so now you can see that you can make a solid sphere ko ja hai. Kis ke respect se? cuboid ke respect se. इसका मतलब क्या हुआ कि इन दोनों का वॉल्यूम सेम रहेगा मोल्ड कर दिया है दूसरी शेप में तो हमेशा ध्यान रखना कि वॉल्यूम विल बी इक्वल टू द अदर शेप सो यू कैन राइट दैट वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड स्फीयर विल बी इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूबॉइड वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉलिड स्फीयर क्या होता है आपका इट इज बेसिकली इक्वल टू 4 by 3 pi r cube एंड वॉल्यूम ऑफ क्यूबॉइड क्या होता है आपका इट इज इक्वल टू l into b into h so 4 by 3 as it is, it will be pi is 22 by 7 r cube. We do not know r cube kya hai. L into b into h. L is 49, b is 33, h is 24. Now you can uh, take, the, take the terms to the left side. Sorry, right side. All the terms of left side to the right side. Then you can find the value of r cube. It will be 49 into 33 into 24 into 7 into 3 and in division 4 and 22 22 and 33 can be cancelled this will give you 3 this will give you 2 then 2 and 24 can be cancelled this will give you 12 4 is there 4 and 12 can be cancelled it will give you 3 now this is very easy to simplify let me tell you how you can do it see you have 49 49 could have to 7 square and one more 7 is there then I can see that I have 3, 3. So I will put 3 to the power 3. 3 for it. And rest, we have 1 down. 7 cube is there. Then 3 cube is there. Then what you can do next is you can take 7 and 3 inside bracket and put cube outside it. Because we have to, we can multiply the bases if the powers are same. And keep 1 power only. That is 3. So you have r cube equals 21 cube. Cube and cube can be cancelled. r will be equal to 21 centimeter. This will be the radius of the sphere. So yes, this is your answer for the fourth one. Now we'll be moving to the fifth one. Let's start with the fifth question. It says a solid metallic cuboid having dimensions of 24 centimeter, 11 centimeter, 7 centimeter is melted and recast into solid cones. Of base radius 3.5 cm, height is 6 cm, find the number of cones so formed. So, what do you think about the cuboid? We have solid cones and we have to do what number of cones we have. So, you have volume of n cones is equal to volume of cuboid. So, n cones is equal to the volume of n times volume of 1 cone, which is 1 by 3 pi r square h let's put the formula of it in it pi r square h and on the right side you have volume of cuboid which is l into b into h n hume find out karna hai. 1 by 3 as it is raiga pi ki value aapki 22 by 7 hai. r square r square kitna hoga 3.5 into 3.5 h ki value 6 ho jayegi aapki l into b into h which is 24 11 into 7 so we cancel some values so that we can n find out. Kar sake. So just take all the terms to the right side. Because if you right side, then you will solve it. 7 into 3 is 21. And then divide it with 22, 3.5, 3.5 and 6. 6 we cancel 24 se cancel It will give you 4 here. 7 or 3.5 ko cancel karoge. 1 here, 0 0.5 here. Then you can cancel 11 and 22. It will give you 2. 2 say 4 cancel ho jayega. It will give you 2. Then you have 21 divided by 3.5. 
and you have 0 0.5 so just you have to solve these two parts to get the answer so 21 first of all multiply 3.5 and 0 0.5 or you can uh, remove the decimals without removing it I am getting 1.75 then you can divide 21 with 1.75 it will give you 12 as the answer just a second and 2 is there as well in numerator so multiply 12 with 2 it will give you 24 that means number of cones formed will be 24 then we'll be moving to the next question which is the last question of section a sixth question of it let's start with it now let's start with the sixth question it says if the mean of the first n natural number is 15 then find n so what is given here? It is given the mean of the first n natural numbers. So what are our natural numbers? We start with 1, 2 and where we will go to n. Because they have not told us how many natural numbers are. And who do we divide? Total natural numbers. And we don't know how many are. So I will write n here. Now what do we need to use formula here? It will be the sn formula. What is the sn formula? n, n plus 1 divided by 2 मतलब sum अगर हमें दिया हो तो यहाँ पे sum तो नहीं दिया हुआ हमें लेकिन क्या दिया हुआ है mean is there तो mean कैसे यहाँ पे हम use करेंगे वो देखो mean की value आपकी हो जाएगी यहाँ पे it will be m equals sum का formula क्या है आपका n n plus 1 divided by 2 तो इसको हम numerator में substitute कर सकते हैं क्योंकि ये भी तो हमारा sum की तरह behave कर रहा है so I can put sum as n n plus 1 divided by 2 just a second i will rewrite it n n plus 1 divided by 2 and then in denominator it will be n again so now i can see that i can cancel n with n mean value is there which is 15 left side pe or right side pe hamare pas kya bacha n plus 1 divided by 2 15 and 2 ko aap kya kar sakte left side pe le jaoge it will give you 30 30 equals n plus 1 and you can take plus 1 to the left side it will be 30 minus 1 equal 29 so yes n value of this is 29 matlab 29 numbers ka sum mila ke uska mean kitna aega aapka 50 so yes this is your answer for the sixth one and this is the end of section a we'll be doing section b in the next video have a great day thank you